good evening everybody again uh, tonight's not so much a review of a film or it, well it is and it's not it's just to share how much I love it uh, this is a great film it's something that I watched well, probably one of my first action films I've ever watched and that is The Terminator what can I say about this film you know it, I've got so much love for it it's amazing so in the film you have Arnie Schwarzenegger as uh, the Terminator. Moving on to Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. And last but not least is Michael Bean as Carl Reese. And directed by James Cameron. So, what can I say about this film? It's epic. You know, anybody is anybody would pretty much agree with what I just said there. So I'm just basically going to go through some of my favourite points, parts of the film. The, you know, the first appearance of Arnie, that motionless face, you know, pure like, you just knew he's a robot. Uh, you know, or a cyborg, I should say. Um,. His turn up to the film where he confronts that those gang of people, uh, that gang, who I do believe has got Bill Paxton is in that gang, and I can't remember the other two people's names at this moment. I haven't watched the film in quite a long time. So, moving on from that, then you meet Sarah Connor, a very vulnerable uh, woman. Wouldn't say lonely, but very shy compared to when you see her in. T2 which is good and then you get the introduction of obviously Carl Reese as well in there uh, other bits of the film that I like is when Arnie goes into the gun store that was quite good and asks for a plasma rifle a little attempt at human there which has actually worked quite well and then which leads on to the bit in the nightclub Probably one of my favourite scenes out of the whole of the film. Where the Terminator obviously is located or found out where Sarah Connor is. And Carl Reese obviously was following her. And was in the club at the same time. But was waiting for the Terminator to make its move before he made his move. Where you get one of the iconic lines. Come with me if you want to live. I loved it. And then Carl Reese starts shooting the Terminator and... Goes for a glass, and then he picks up, and then sorry, picks up, really, uh, and starts standing up again. And you know, you see the shock on people's faces and all that. I know it's a film, by the way, but it's just a good scene. Then you get to the point where you get to the backstory of why the Terminators are here, and all that kind of stuff. And the interaction between Carl Reese and Sarah Connor, as well, which is quite good. And moving on to the next part of the film where they start trying to evade the Terminator and just trying to stay out of the way. Which then moves on to the bit of the scene of the special effect <laughs> well the, the animatronics or the robotic part of it where it's so bad it was actually good. The blatant rubber face of Arnie pulling the eye lens out of his uh, face and you see the red eye for the first time which I think is pretty cool um, then moving on towards the end of the film where you get the gas tru uh, truck and all that and they manage to blow it up with the Terminator in there and you think he's dead and then he just basically rises from the ashes and then you actually see the entel skeleton of the Terminator in itself. Now, I watched this film when I was 11 for the first time, seeing a robot with two red eyes and a skull with a, for a face. Pretty scary, but pretty cool at the same time, I reckon. Then, moving into the factory bit, which I also did like, is where basically Carl Reese basically sacrifices itself for. Sarah Connor and uh, and you get to the bit 
where Sarah Connor finally destroys it, the first Terminator. I have to stress when I first watched this film, I was 11. So to me, all I saw was, I, I wasn't looking for storylines or plot lines or holes in the film or anything. All I saw was robots, guns, killing, action. Just fun for me back then. It wasn't until later on I started picking up on the storyline and little things in, in the film, like the Cyberdyne systems bit at the end and all that kind of stuff. And all that, I will... <laughs> There is actually quite a funny story. Uh, we had an old video recorder here when I was younger. When I was 11. And I knew the Terminator was on, so I decided to put in a video and record it. Of course, by then, probably past my bedtime, I went to bed. What I didn't know is that my uh, mum and dad had probably already watched the film before. Before me. And uh, there's a certain scene in that film... Um, which got edited out of the copy that I recorded. So when I went to go and see it, I was none the wiser. It was only when I went when I first watched T two, and you had John Connor in there. I was like, "How did he get in there? Who's his dad?" And all that kind of stuff. And then they mentioned Carl Reese, obviously being because they had the storyline at the start of T two, and I was like, going, "Is he?" It wasn't until later on, when I got my own copy, the full copy, which hadn't been edited by my own parents, that I actually understood the first part of, uh, well, the first, you know, the bits of um, T2. Parental guidance. So, that was what that was. All in all, I can't pick holes in this film and to be honest with you I really really don't want to pick holes in this film because I love it too much so on that note if you agree post your comments down below if you don't post your comments down below give the video a like give it a share subscribe to my channel I should be doing probably Terminator 2 either tomorrow or Friday so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope to see you all again and have a great rest of the day or evening and i shall see you again soon take care bye bye